Now we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can add a timer to any clip. I'll just use this woman running. And then I use this timer and I'll put it on top of my footage. Now you're asking yourself where to find that timer. You can easily download that on a site like Pixabay. I'm going to link to it in the description below. This is usable in private and even commercial projects. It's free to use. You don't even have to sign in depending on the resolution that you want to use. Just download it here and it should run directly. Let's get back to CapCut. We have the timer on top of our clip. Now you want to cut it. Use B, the split tool. We don't need the excess parts so I delete it. Press A for the select tool and then select the timer element. Now you want to go to video and blend and set the blending mode for example to screen. And you see only the number. Scale it down a little bit, reposition it. And then you're already done. If you just want to have this effect, if you want to add a background, let us do that from scratch as well. What we can do is to go to media library, use the background option right here. In our case, a white background won't work because the numbers are white, or we can use a black one. Position the background in between your footage and the timer. Select the background and adjust the speed. We have for this clip for the timer around 16 seconds. So let me make this 16 as well. And I cut the timer and the footage a little bit using B, the split tool, so that they all have the same length. Again, select the background element in the middle and you want to go to video mask and use Vect Angle. Position it on top of the timer and then resize it a little bit. I also want to give it rounded corners, so I use this slider right here. I'll roll it again and there you go. Once again, you'll find the link to this timer in the video description. It's free to use. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.